Hi, I'm Keith Krieger, Program Director for Computer Applications Training at JCCC. And today we have some tools, tips, and techniques to help you do your work with common computer applications every day. We'll take a look at PowerPoint in this uh, short video snip here. And many people treat PowerPoint like a set of slides, but PowerPoint's actually one big outline. And we can use that outlining idea to help manage and control the very early stages of our presentation planning. When we look at PowerPoint's layout, whether it's PowerPoint 2007 or 2010 or 2013, you'll notice over here in the left-hand sidebar a pair of tabs, one labeled slide and one labeled outline. And when I click the outline tab, we see that we have an icon there labeled one, which corresponds to the slide that we're working on. And we can literally build the structure of our presentation right here in the outline view without ever touching a slide. If I click beside the icon for slide number one, PowerPoint drops a cursor in and I can give my presentation a title. And I'm simply going to type that. And you'll notice that it automatically adds that title to the first slide. Now, if I'm simply putting together an outline, I want to grab all of my initial thoughts for my content right up front. So I'm thinking to myself, OK, I need to move to the next slide. And all I have to do now is press Enter, and PowerPoint sets up a brand new slide for me. If you look to the right, the slide layout has changed to a bulleted layout. And again, I don't even have to work over in the slide view. I can continue to work in the outline view. So we're going to give this second slide a title. And I'm thinking to myself, OK, I really want a set of bullets here. Now, we already know if we are at the end of that title on a slide in the outline, if I press Enter, I get a brand new slide, right? Which PowerPoint does. You're thinking to yourself, no, no, I really need a bullet that goes under slide number two. So in order to do that, there's a couple different ways, and depending on your particular style of working with the Office apps, you'll find one to be easier or better than the other. What we want to do is indent that item. One way to do that if you're a mouse fan is to use the list level button up in the home ribbon. And you can see it has a small blue arrow on it. And what it's going to do, it's going to demote that item. If I single click that, PowerPoint says, oh, OK, here's a bullet. And I can simply type my bulleted text. If I press Enter again, I get another bullet. And I can continue to add bullets here. Now you think to yourself, OK, I really want to now get back to a slide. And we now know if we press Enter, we're in bullet mode, we get another bullet. So I can, again using the indent arrows up in the Home tab, I can decrease the list level. And PowerPoint now promotes that bullet back into a top level slide. Now, another way we can do this is to use the keyboard instead of the mouse. And if I now want to demote that slide into a bullet, all I have to do is press Tab. And I automatically get my bulleted layout. If I now want to promote that and I want to use the keyboard, the Shift key always reverses the action of a keystroke. So I'm going to hold the Shift key down and press Tab, and that now promotes that bullet back to a slide. And a very quick and easy way to generate an outline of my presentation without ever having to touch slides. The final thing I'll leave you with is I can even rearrange slides here. And this is a very easy tool that if I simply hover over one of the numbered slide icons, I can press and hold and drag. And you'll notice that we get that horizontal bar. And that will, there we go, there's my horizontal bar. And 
rearrange the slides that way. I think you'll find that approach to be much more effective in building a very consistent and coherent outline of your presentations when you're starting from scratch. Good luck with those. We trust you found the tips and tools techniques in these videos to be helpful in something you can put to use almost immediately. We know that these are things that can be shared easily and we encourage you to share them with your colleagues and your friends. Post them to Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn for other people to take advantage of. And if you like, we'd be happy to send you the notes of the tools and techniques that we've shown you here today. Please feel free to send us a message at the address on the screen and we'll get those right out to you. Thanks.